Hi everyone. A very common question that is asked by property owners at a point in time with their property is, should I sell or should I rent the property out? Now, this can affect people in all circumstances, whether it be one property have occupied and lived in for a while, or even just an investment. And for example, if a tenant is vacated, uh, they want to know whether they should continue renting it out or of course sell it. Now, the first and most important factor when it comes to this is to get good professional advice from an independent tax advisor and financial planner. Uh, one thing I will say is that every person, individual or family circumstance is quite different. What is important is to understand your circumstance to the greatest of detail so that you can make the best decision for you moving forward, not just for the short term, but of course for long term as well. Number one, one thing to factor in is what I referred to just a bit earlier is the tax side. When you are going to rent a property out, the longer you rent it out for, there may be tax implications if you were to sell it down the track due to capital gains tax. Especially if you had a property that you lived in, if you choose to rent it out after a certain period of time, if you then sell it afterwards, then you're gonna have to factor in tax and capital gains tax when it comes to the sale price. That's something to consider once again, at what ratio and at what basis your tax advisor will be able to assist you there. One thing to also consider is to how a tenant can affect the condition of the property. Now, if it's always been a rental property, then certainly you know exactly how a tenant has upkept the home and you'll be able to maybe update the home a little bit before finding the next tenant. But if you've occupied the property yourself, you probably more than likely have kept the property in an immaculate condition. You looked after it really well. Sometimes you maybe have even renovated over recent years. One of the things to consider is that if the property was in that state, that it is at the highest state in terms of presentation. So the value value of the property is at its highest point at that point in time. If you were to rent it out, just do understand that the slight risk is that if you do get a tenant that doesn't look after the property the way that you looked after it, then potentially selling down the track, you may find it a difficult time to sell it, or in order to improve it, you have to spend a bit more money to re-renovate it again, or get into the shape that will be more presentable to the marketplace. One thing to also not to get blurred by is the personal aspect and the business aspect when it comes to renting a property. Property. When it comes to investing and renting property out, you want to make sure you treat it like a business. Everything is just financial. What makes it difficult for some people, especially if you lived in a property and decided to rent it out, you probably have some sort of emotional attachment to the property itself. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. That's all normal. However, if you do have that emotional attachment and then transfer this property to become a business proposition, you become emotionally involved. If tenant doesn't pay rent on time off, especially if they don't look after the property that you looked after, then you may find that your heart may even break as well and you may not feel as happy internally. And thus, of course, you may feel differently sentimentally towards the property. Then otherwise, if you were purely had an investment property and was always just an investment and you won't have those emotional feelings as well. So look, it's something to consider. You don't want to intertwine the personal attachment to a property towards the business aspect when it comes to investments. One benefit, of course, if you were to not sell the property and rent it out is that you don't have to spend time looking for a property. And we all know if you were to buy another property to rent out, whether it be immediately or down the track, that there's costs involved with that. So if you were to sell a property, there's agency costs. If you were to buy another one, there are stamp duty costs or other factors that you may have to factor in. Whereas if you kept the current rental premises and you still feel that it's got a lot of potential towards it, you could just re-rent it out, keep it and not have to factor in all those outgoings that could be possible moving forward. And of course, considering your positions, you may not want to incorporate those costs at that point in time. One thing of course that you do want to uh, factor in is is that when it comes to keeping a property, uh, over the long term is where you see capital growth. Okay, so don't do things whether selling or renting it out. Don't decide um, for the short term, always decide for the long term. You may find that by selling now, by taking in the equity and taking in the capital, it will give you more opportunities to buy a better investment and other investment opportunities. You may find that maybe renting it out now could be better because the market is not the right circumstance for yourself to sell. It could be, may not be given the right gains for you and you may find over a three to five year period, it may provide you better gains. That circumstance, of course, once again, is based on your own personal position, getting the right advice from independent tax advisors or financial planners, and of course, 
we could always have a chat directly one-on-one -on -one as well and we can share you with you our experience based on your life of course circumstance too if you wanted to do that feel free to reach out to contact either myself or icl group at 855 83000 or visit our website at icl group.com.au